Hi everyone. So our today's experiment is RLC parallel circuit, or we may say it is rejected circuit. So in this circuit, as you can see, a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor. These three components are connected in parallel combination, while an ammeter is connected in the series combination. So we provide a C voltage from here, and then we need corresponding readings from the ammeter, and then afterward we plot a graph between frequency and the current in microampere. So let's proceed towards the observation. So uh, the circuit is connected in this box. So this is our resistor of 100 kilo ohm. This is capacitor of 0.01 microfarad, and this is our inductor of 500 milli henry. And here is attached a micro ammeter to measure the current. And this is our audio oscillator. We have it connected to a audio generator. As you can see, the audio generator. So this is audio generator. As you can see from this scale, we can measure the frequency by moving this knob. And uh, there is an other uh, portion of uh, this uh, oscillator. From this knob, uh, I can select the range of frequency. So I have here selected the range on 100 times. If I measure some measurement from this scale, uh, then I have to multiply this measurement with, with 100. Okay, that would be our reading. Okay, now let's move towards the observation. Now we increase this uh, 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 reading from step by step and we uh, bring it on 10 hertz. So this reading is 10 and multiply by 100. So it is actually 1000 uh, frequency. It is 1000 frequency. So on 1000 hertz frequency, the corresponding reading from the milliammeter. So as you can see, the reading from microammeter it is exactly on 150 microamperes. Now let's proceed towards other observation. Now let's move towards the other observation. So we move this knob on. 11 hertz actually uh, 11 multiply by 100 it is 1100 actually so let's note the corresponding reading from milli micro ammeter so as you can see the observation from micro ammeter it is exactly on 130 division so let's move towards the other observation so now we move this knob on uh, 12 hertz Actually, this 12 multiplied by this 100, it is actually 1200 hertz. And let's note the corresponding reading on the microammeter. Okay, uh, as you can see, uh, the observation from microammeter, it is exactly on 110. Now, let's move towards other observation. So, let's we move this knob on other uh, division. Let's suppose I uh, make it on 13. So it is 1300 uh, hertz frequency and let's note the corresponding reading on the microammeter. So as you can see the reading on, from the microammeter it is exactly on 90. So we have made uh, observations and as you can see our knob position pointer is on 17. So it is actually 1700 hertz frequency and let's check the corresponding observation on the ammeter. So the observation on the micro ammeter is exactly on 15 micro ampere. So if we now further increase the frequency, we will see the current will start increasing. Okay, we now further proceed. Uh, let's we increase the frequency and I reach it on 20 hertz. It means it is 2000 hertz. And let's check the observation on the microammeter. So as you can see from this uh, microammeter, the current has increased now. It is now at 60. Now we increase further frequency from 20 to I read on 23. As you can see, this uh, 
uh, this uh, uh, frequency is 2300 and let's we check the corresponding observation on the micro emitter so as you can see the uh, micro emitter reading it is exactly on 70 so its uh, current is 70 micro ampere so we move likewise and uh, make some more readings so we have made our observation and uh, we have uh, wrote them in our table so our table is now completed now let's move towards the graph and made some calculation from the graph now let's move towards the graph first of all we draw x-axis and y-axis we take frequency along x-axis and uh, current along y-axis now let's move towards the scale so in scale we take uh, uh, along x-axis one big box is equal to 500 hertz while uh, one small box uh, we will get 50 hertz just dividing this uh, term by 10 and similarly along uh, y-axis uh, one big box is 20 micro ampere and one small box is 2 micro ampere so now let's uh, draw our points according to this scale so on 1000 hertz frequency the corresponding current was 150 micro ampere so we plot this point for this purpose we move 20 boxes for along x-axis uh, so uh, this is uh, 10 and again 10 it is 20 so this represent our 1000 hertz frequency this is 10 multiplied by 100 it is 1000 hertz frequency now we find the corresponding box of uh, current it uh, so uh, reading was uh, 150 micro ampere so we we divide 150 by 2 so we will get 75 so we have to move 75 small boxes from this point so this is 10 20 30 40 50 60 this is 70 71 72 73 74 and 75 so this is our point which is representing 100 this is point which is representing 150 micro ampere current so this is our first point now let's move towards the other point so in our second observation we have 1100 frequency and the corresponding current was 130 micro ampere so we have to move uh, 22 boxes for along x-axis this is 10 20 and this represent 22 and uh, which is which represent 1100 hertz frequency so from this point we move uh, 65 boxes to represent 130 micro ampere so this is uh, uh, this is 10 20 30 40 50 60 61 62 63 and 65 so this represent 130 micro ampere current if you make uh, the line from this axis you will get 130 micro ampere current now let's move towards the third observation and draw the third point on the graph so our third observation was 1200 frequency and corresponding current was 110 for this purpose we uh, move we, we, we move uh, the 20 we move uh, 24 boxes uh, along x-axis this is 10 this is 20 this is 22 and this is 24 so this represent 1200 frequency uh, 1200 hertz frequency and from this point we move uh, along y axis uh, uh, 55 boxes so this is uh, 10 20 30 and uh, 30 40 and 50 and 1 2 3 4 5 this is 55 okay now, in similar way we plot different points let's plot these points so we have plotted all the points on the graph now let's we join these graph by the curve uh, join these points with the help of a graph
so this is our resonance curve now uh, let's find uh, different uh, uh, parameters from this uh, graph so first of all we have minimum value of current so minimum value of current uh, is as you can see is so minimum uh, value of current is 50 micro ampere so this is i minimum okay and uh, corresponding frequency we will get from uh, this point and uh, at this point we have uh, uh, resonance frequency which is equal to fr it is uh, 18 100 hertz so uh, it is 18 so this 18 is multiplied by what this 100 it is 1800 so this is our resonance frequency now we uh, let's move towards the bandwidth of uh, the graph so first first of all we multiply this by uh, uh, we find rms value for this purpose we multiply this by under root 2 and this uh, value of 50 micro ampere okay so let's see what we will get so we calculate this as 70.5 micro ampere so we find out this value from the graph this is 60 this is 80 so uh, this is uh, 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 this is 70 and this is 75 and little more above so this value represent value of i rms okay this is uh, 70.5 micro ampere this is our i rms value of current now we will find uh, frequency uh, f1 we, we, we will draw the perpendicular from this point actually we extend this uh, graph this line uh, uh, on the other section of the graph where these two where uh, we draw the perpendicular we draw a perpendicular from these two points let's say this is point a and let's say this is point b so we will draw the perpendicular from these two lines and we will get value of f1 and f2 now let's do that